Hi there, it's currently August 2018 and we are doing an astrological sign reading using my fairy tarot card deck. And the sign that we are reading today is for Pisces. So I hope that you guys are having a wonderful summer so far. I wanna say thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. I very much appreciate it. You can also go on to robinsealing.com if you'd like to check out any of my services and get a personal reading. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. So we'll get that all out of the way. So your theme is actually the Nine of Cups. So this is a lot of love energy. You're surrounded by like peace and comfort and even some joy, but you may be struggling a little bit with a joy piece because it's important that we start receiving the energy that's available to us. So if we're caught up in money or we're caught up in, in time, what you're gonna feel like is you're rejecting an aspect of yourself or something that somebody is trying to offer you that's very positive. So really open up to receiving at this moment in time. See yourself as a beautiful person and see yourself as a person that can succeed. So you really need that like momentum to stay up so you don't feel like you're crashing or that you're falling into a little bit of a rut. Okay, so that's going to be our theme. I find this really cute. So this is a card that I have in my in my tarot deck and it's fairies clever, fairies bright from garden, wood, and pond. Guide my thoughts, guide my sight. Please help me find the answers on a path that's true and right. So this is about being unique, being different, embracing that like soul, spiritual side that you have to yourself that allows you to feel good about who you are. So it's the sparkle that we get in our eyes. It's when we shine. And it could be shining the light on other people that are going through a very hard time. So there is a lot of giving back energy. So if you're feeling stuck at all, the best way to clear that would be getting out of that energy yourself. So maybe going for a run, going to an exercise class as well, because it's keeping in mind our presence can be quite powerful in other people's lives for good or bad. So we want to work with like soft energies and people who are well-rounded at this time to really help us overcome things. And then what you're going to find is you will be like that that healer for others as well. So uh, talking about that stuck energy, what you're gonna find is you're, you're coming up with some solutions and conclusions at this moment. It's really important that we're diving into ourselves and uncovering and unraveling things that really need to come up and out. So fear not, you will be okay. You just maybe need to be called, you're being called into certain things that you have to do and, and that's not a bad thing. It's actually a huge part of your path is just doing what's right for you, kind of like what that uh, fairy card was saying. So Queen of Swords, this is Aquarius and, and we're, we just had a full moon in Aquarius, so you're gonna be feeling the effects of the need to just overcome these humps Creating boundaries is also really important. So that could be if you're a sensitive person, you need to learn how to protect your energies. Um, working away from selfish people, getting out of selfish energy yourself. Um, and that's part of embracing your uniqueness. Sometimes we do want to be different than others. And that means we need to separate ourselves from judgment, categories, things like that. So if you're having impulses, uh, center that energy and you're going to find you'll make better choices around um, those solutions. Okay. Then we have the hermit. So this is talking about clairvoyant energy, someone who's able to like see into the past, but also see into the future. So I feel like I'm hearing you're really driving it home. So you really have to kind of um, take what you've learned and apply it. This month, you're going to feel like you can ravish in your own garden. So maybe you're a person who's very creative and you know how to like see things through to fruition. But that's where the boundaries are going to come up. Don't let other people kind of rock your boat, that sort of thing, because there's going to be a lot of that. We're still in Mercury retrograde to like mid-month, stuff like that. So just be um, mindful of people who think that they're better than you or if you're in that energy yourself. Okay, so working on that even keel. Uh, healing would be amazing this month. And if you're a healer, really getting yourself out there in your own healing practices. Okay. I hope you guys have a wonderful month. Thanks so much, Pisces. Bye.